This phase of the work is based in the foothills of Mount Busavi. But there's a series of trips in this expedition. Steve's embarking on another quest. He's heading east to an island off the coast of New Guinea called New Britain. The forests here in New Britain are some of the most spectacular I've ever seen anywhere in the world. We're flying through a, a very deep, steep-sided gorge uh, with a white water river flowing right down through the middle of it. He's on his way to join a world-class team of adventure cavers. These limestone hills are hollow. Under here is a honeycomb of caves which may stretch for miles. And their job is to explore them. There's just one problem. This is the only way into the caves. The White Water River thunders from the entrance. And it's halfway up a jungle cliff. Oh my God, look at this! This must be it, this must be the Ghani Cave. That's where we're going. The local village have turned out to meet Steve. Hello? 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 Hey. This is the village of Aura which is as close as we can get in the helicopter to the caves. So I guess we're going to try and rouse some support here, try and get a few people to help us carry all our stuff in, because we've got an awful lot of it. We'd like to meet the headman and get his permission to be wandering around on what essentially is their land. Every piece of forest in New Guinea belongs to a local tribe. Steve can't go anywhere without the consent of the chief. Hey. Hello, hello. Have you ever been to the cave, Magani Cave. And what do you think is inside the cave? It seems that there's a feeling, perhaps even a local myth, that there's a huge snake inside these caves. It'd be very nice if it wasn't a local myth. <laughs> if it was true, that'd be great. One week in, Everyone at base camp has settled into a routine. But there's nothing regular about the animals coming in. It's a blue tongue skink. He's beautiful. Every animal they find is recorded. Some of them are bright and beautiful. Some shy and camouflaged. What do you think it is? Little striped thrust? Little striped thrust. They've catalogued hundreds of animals. And at least seven of them are brand new species. Down there. Gordon has a new goal. Together with Museo Piang, he'll be searching for the secretive mammals of the forest. To give us an overall view of the animals that live in this forest, we can't just use legwork. We have to put these traps out and find out what's living here. And we've got some kind of forest rat in here. I'll get him out and Muzi can tell me exactly what it is. Do you like all the rats? I like them. Do you think they're ugly? No, no, they're not ugly. Muse knows where to set the traps. And Gordon uses his tracking skills to search for signs. It's quite a kind of musky smell around here. There's some big holes down there. Just gonna check it out. You're not only using your eyes and your ears to find animals, and quite often some animals give themselves away by their smell. There's definitely something around here or something that's been here. Have a look at this. Ooh! Spooky. It's almost a cave. Um, there's a bit of a jump down. Look, you might want to hand, hand me the camera. Got it. He's found the entrance to a tunnel. Yeah, because in a long way, when you actually hear there's animal tracks. And see this muddy area? It's all smoothed down. You look around other areas, it doesn't have any of this surface mud, but it's just been smoothed over. Oh, there's, some, yeah, there's a nut, kind of chewed fruit in there. This is a really good place to set up a little camera trap because without a doubt there are animals coming and going from here. Muse helps to train a remote camera on the tunnel. Yes, it's the right height. Okay. And right. You think that's good here? Yes. Just need to switch it on. Arming in 10 seconds. OK. 
Okay, I think we should just get out. It's running. 